What's up, Tyler Casey here, and today I'm gonna to be giving away a free car mount, and I'm gonna be talking about tips and tricks for better car mount shots. So let's get straight into it. So I'm gonna give the details to the giveaway towards the end of the video. We've all seen dope car mount shots in lots of videos from Russ to Cole Bennett's music videos. We see car mount shots all the time in movies, but now it's really easy to do it on a low budget. Because our cameras are so small and so light, it's really easy to mount them straight onto the car. The mount that I went with was from Delkin, and they actually sent me a free one to give away to you guys. It's a really cool mount. It's a triple suction cup mount and it's called the Fat Gecko. It works really good. I've used other car mounts, but this one's really fast and it has a really nice setup time. This car mount supports up to 12 pounds, so that's quite a lot of weight. I've used this on a few videos so far and it's worked really good. So I'm gonna go over some tips and tricks to get better car mount shots. My first tip is make sure you're doing this on a safe road where it's not too busy or completely shut down where you're not gonna have any cars driving past because you might get a little distracted with the car mount or maybe performing. So just be safe when you do this. Secondly, I would always bring a towel and some water or Windex or whatever works because you really wanna make sure the car is clean because if there's any dust or anything between the suction mount, the car mount might just slip off. Also, you wanna keep some type of string, bungee cord, anything attached to your camera just in case the suction cups do fail and you have a second backup. My second tip is gonna be using a polarizing filter. Polarizing filter can make or break a car mount shot. Sometimes when you put your car in a car mount shot, you're gonna see lots of reflection. What a polarizing filter does is it's gonna change the reflections of the glass and you can spin it until you get the shot you're looking for. This is really useful to have, so I'm gonna link that below. A third tip is gonna be film when the sun's low. When the sun's low, you're gonna be able to have a lots of light coming into the car, or maybe if you film in the shade, maybe a tunnel, but you want even lighting because if you're gonna film at noon, there's gonna be really harsh shadows inside the car and it's not gonna be bright enough to capture the daylight outside. It's gonna look very amateur. So definitely if you're gonna film, make sure you do it in the evening and also watch out for the shadows too because that's a problem if you film in the evening. Shadows are gonna be longer and you might see the car mount in the shot. So you really have to find the perfect road and the right lighting to shoot this at. But definitely keep lighting in mind and try different locations and different angles to get the best shot possible. My next tip is also try different lenses. Try a wide angle lens, try a standard lens, maybe a telephoto lens if you can just to get different shots because different shots are gonna convey different moods. If we have a longer lens, it's gonna look like we're in the car with them and it's gonna feel more personal. We're gonna focus on those performance shots. Maybe if you have a really wide fisheye lens and you're showing all the cars coming at the camera. So my last tip is gonna be, if you're doing a night shot, you're definitely gonna need some interior lighting in the car. So my lighter choice would be the small Aperture M9. This is a really versatile light. It's very tiny, you can take it anywhere. So I would just throw some Velcro on this or maybe some gaff tape and mount it somewhere inside the car to fill in the faces while driving around. Similar to the Rust video where he's driving around at night, this will illuminate the car and maybe you could even throw another Aperture Amaran in the back seat to give another color contrast. So I'm gonna be giving away this brand new car mount. Shout out to Delkin for sending it to me. So the only two things you have to do to win this car mount is subscribe to my YouTube channel and comment below and let me know how you would use this car mount. I'm gonna do a random comment selector on April 2nd and I'm gonna message whoever wins so make sure to check your messages so good luck and thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys next time thanks